All right, welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy sneezing. Yes, <laughs> this cold is kicking my butt. Oh, man. Um, the cough part's over, and now the nasal part's coming on strong, and my nose will not stop running, and I'm kind of miserable, I'll be honest with you. But, hey, we got to keep on keeping on. All right, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little montage that we started the, the episode with. Uh, lots to get you caught up on. And um, I've, I tried not to do too many you know real significant things off camera most of what i've done has just been mining and you know gathering resources and stuff and the, the things that i felt were you know fairly significant i showed in the uh, montage there so let's kind of go over a few of those things um not in any particular order uh, the update just came out with the shield and so i took that out and tried it out it's it's okay um it doesn't prevent you from getting wounds though or deep wounds so that's kind of lame if you ask me um and you can't um i mean you have to alternate the block and the knife which is okay i don't have a problem with that but i i'm not i'm not so sure i'm a huge fan of it because of the fact mostly that you know you can still get wounded with it so it's okay for smaller animals like wolves and boars and stuff but jaguars and bears they're still going to put the hurt on you and don't even bother with a croc with this because um, you know, you can you can only hit the croc in the head with your knife and you know, they're armored up there So it, it's just not it doesn't work at all with the crocodile uh, But anyway, it's kind of cool that they added that and uh, along with that we now have our titanium knife I wanted to get this as well as the titanium axe and the rifle uh, As soon as possible. I think we had already made the titanium pick in the last episode um, Just so I could you know have those top-end tools for resource gathering and you know protecting ourselves while we were out and about uh, Let's see what else I now have the cured leather armor on which raised um, raises our melee resistance up to Well, it's actually I think it's 38 or 39 without buffs, but I have some food buffs going on right now uh, Speaking of, of a roast veggies. It's really a really good um dish here it gives us 225 maximum stamina it's massive stamina boost it says uh, plus 10 percent exposure resistance and 10 percent melee damage um and then of course we're still doing the fish curry and the crispy bacon as well i really like this crispy bacon for the experience and the critical damage it's just really good food so we got that going on um let's see i have i don't 
think I've done anything significantly different with the base since the last episode. We did put the wood composter in, um, you know, for fertilizer, and I've been using that. And, um, oh yeah, I, th I think that's pretty much it as far as, you know, the base goes. There's some things we need to get going on the base. In fact, I have, uh, I've made some pieces so we can start expanding it. Um, as far as the critters go, we still have a uh, Buddy 2.0, but I was out for quite a long time with Buddy 2.0 in the cart. In fact, I showed you that in the montage there. Uh, we took the cart out and we just got a truckload of ore. <laughs> so much ore. It's really cool that you could do that, but um, I was out for a very long time, like probably two or three days, and when I came back, most of my crops were dead. And Liberty Mutual version 1.0 was, was gone. I don't know what happened to them. Um, but one thing I have noticed is that if the critters get caught in these spikes, even from this side, it can they can start taking damage. So either that happened to him or maybe he starved to death. I don't know uh, because we were gone for so long. Speaking of starving, there's no food in there for the, for the critters. Um, you have 84% food and you have 87. So they're fine if, for the moment. Um... Let's see. So yeah, what what I need what I want to do with the critters, I need to get I need to build a corral for them because with them just out loose like that, they run into the house. Uh, I open the gate and then they run out the gate and they're just you know they're kind of naughty. <laughs> and so I want to put them in a corral so that they don't get caught up you know in these spikes for one thing and they're not being a pain in the butt when I'm trying to open the gate or go in the house or whatever. I have expanded. Uh, the garden a little bit out here. I just added some more crop plots and so I've been uh, watering the crops and when I have fertilizer I'm putting fertilizer on them too. So we got that going on and let's see here. I am level 40 as you can see right there and we have some skill points and talents to do. You stay in here buddy. Why don't you go out there? Okay. Uh, so let's go into the house and take a look see at those things. Yeah, see, he he especially. Uh, it, wait, is that Liberty Mutual? Oh, maybe it was not. A Liberty Mutual loves to come into the house. I don't mind it so much, except for that you know if I have the fire on, like if I'm sleeping and he gets caught in it, which he has getting gotten caught in it. Unfortunately, it wasn't on. You know that could kill him, so it's not really safe for him to come in here. Uh, as you can see, we've got an incredible amount of ore. In fact, we need to. Uh, let's take the copper out of there because there's no room and we'll throw it in here. I've got lots of iron, lots of copper. I have mined out. Um, yeah, so you're working on more of that. I've mined every mine, or I'm sorry, every cave in Ring Lake. So there are no caves left in Ring Lake that have ore in them. Except for the pass cave, the one that passes over into the desert. There's a little bit of copper and a lot of iron left in there, but I've, I've picked and all of the higher level ores out of there. Um, so one of the things we have to do pretty quick is we're going to have to do an expedition out into the desert to look for more caves specifically for titanium because, you know, after making what I have made so far, I'm very um, low on titanium. So, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, I, I, I apologize in advance for sniffing, sniffling and snorting and sneezing. But my nose is just... Not doing so well. So, anyway, we have a total of 39 titanium ingots, and that is it. And so, uh, we need more titanium ingots. And I've been working on, you know, making carbon fiber and and electronics. I think we have, how many? We have 69 electronics stored up. And, you know, just kind of the usual grindy grind stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at our tech tree and our talents. Let's go to the talents first. I have a solo talent. I, I started doing tis but a scratch, um, so we take less damage from the animals, so I'll, I'll max that out and then figure out what the next solo talent's going to be. And then we have three normal talents, and I have indeed been starting to put those into husbandry. Now, I don't understand some things in the husbandry, husbandry tree. That was a tongue twister. If you guys can help me out in the comments, um, that'd be great. What do we got? Thunderstorm? Oh, that's all right. Whatever. We're going to stay in the house for a little while anyway. Um, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what grazing does. It says it increases foraging yield, but I can't, um, I can't harvest plants with the animals. I've tried it. It doesn't work unless I'm pressing the wrong button or something. And I have seen no evidence that they graze, you know, like on the grass out here. 
Maybe they do. Maybe it's just a really, really slow burn and it, I don't notice it. But um, so I'm not, I guess I'm not entirely sure what this actually does. Um, and I, I tried to even look it up, you know, watched a couple of videos, looked it up, but I just, I, I couldn't find anything definitive. So I'm not sure what that means. Um, we got efficient feeding. So less 30 percent water and food consumption uh, for our tame creatures which is really good um, I don't know what this means increased damage from stealth your animals can't stealth I don't know how to make your animals stealth so does that mean and I can't stealth while I'm on the back of the animal <laughs> so what does that mean does that mean I have my animal follow me and then I hop off and I go into stealth mode maybe maybe that's what that means I, I don't quite understand that okay um, this one is where we're gonna put points into next because this is basically is going to give them faster health regeneration and more health um, so we are throwing all of the points into that so 30% maximum health and 45% helm, uh, health regeneration because these animals are pretty squishy they die really easy so that's going to help a lot now um, I would like to uh, uh, this is going to be the next thing we're going to go for as soon as we can um, act natural because it basically reduces the threat that our critters apparently um, uh, have, you know, the predators. Predators perceive them as a threat, so this will reduce that threat, and they're less likely to be attacked, uh, uh, you know, from further away. Because they, predators, if, you know, if, if I'm charged by a bear or, a, you know, a, a cougar, well, yeah, a cougar in the desert or whatever, it'll go for the animal before it'll go for me. Um, so so that's going to be helpful um and then we probably will start working down this side we have to uh because i want to get uh, this actually helps me i consume less food water and o2 while i'm riding um this is stamina region uh, which is going to be good and this is more carrying weight and this is just maximum stamina there, and then this is fast, you know, like the like the wind speed kind of thing. So I'm, I'm not real impressed with the stuff over on the left-hand side, because that's more for taming, and taming is already super easy. But this stuff in the, you know, um, on the right-hand side is going to be useful. So we'll be working on that for more talents. Okay, let's look at the tech tree. Uh, we're sitting on 10 points right now. Um, so there's some things that we need to do. And... Um, I don't think there's anything in tier one that I want, uh, at least not at the moment, with the possible exception of floor torches, but I don't know if I want to throw a point into that right now. Um, you know, I just I just wear my, I have my lantern when I need to, to light things up in here. And I have a, you know, I have a total of three lanterns, so I can just put this one in here throw that one out and you know just keep them going here in the biofuel thingamadoodle so yeah I don't I don't think there's anything in tier one we need so tier two I would eventually probably like to get the fireplace maybe the skinning bench I think we're gonna skip the ice box all together and go right to a refrigerator um we might end up getting the poison oh yeah that's right I wanted to get some of this stuff over here like this is a health potion um, so let's learn this. And this is an interesting thing. A sustenance enhancement tonic. It gives you 100 O2 food and water. That's pretty powerful if you ask me. Um, and it's not really too difficult to make. It requires sponges, but we have sponges all over the place. The rest of that stuff isn't a big deal. So, you know, food for the road kind of thing. And it probably doesn't spoil either. Um, but I don't know. You know, this would be something that would be more useful when you're doing, like, temporary missions. So I'm still on the fence about that, but I do find it fascinating. Anti-poison strength. Yeah, that's probably for... Yeah, that increase basically increases melee damage and stuff. Um, stamina wouldn't be too bad, but I you don't usually have a problem with stamina. We already have antibiotic. This would be situationally useful, too. If we happen to just be having some bad luck in a cave and we get several stacks of cave worm poison, that can kill you. That stuff is really dangerous. 
Um, so that's something to keep in mind. I don't really care about parasites. They're just not that big a deal. So anyway, I'm just kind of, you know, thinking out loud here a little bit and showing you guys what I'm thinking. Um, but for now, we're going to definitely go with the health enhancement because there's no doubt that that's going to be useful when we're in a big fight and I'm getting my butt kicked and almost ready to die. Okay, so anyway, um, I don't think there's anything else over here that we want right at the moment here in tier two. Uh, I'll probably get some of this furniture stuff at some point, but that's not the highest priority right now. And I think I have everything I want in terms, well, I'm gonna get this stone half piece actually, because I have an idea uh, of something I might wanna do with that. And reinforced window, I mean, I have never really found windows to be need needful. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if there's weather. The, I, I've never had anything get damaged from the weather. Being in front of a window. Um, let's just grab this hammer and confirm that, though. Yeah, see, these are all at 100% durability, and they've been sitting in front of those windows forever. Uh, and there's been dozens of storms that have happened. So I just, you know... The windows are kind of nice, but I don't see them as a super high priority. I just, I just don't. Okay, so let's put that stuff back in there. Anyway, uh, whoops. Let's go back to here. Okay, so I think that's good enough for tier two. Now let's look at tier three. Uh, I will, I would like to get some actual lights for the house, but before we do that, uh, we need to. Oh, I'm low on water. Oh, and I did I did finally make a, a reservoir thingy here too. It's a it's cheap and useful and you don't get parasite. So we got that going. Looks like we need to put some more wood in our furnace there. Uh, so let's do that so that can continue smelting what's in there. And what are you working on? You are done. Okay, so let's just turn you off for now. And um, I got a pretty decent supply of, you know, aluminum and gold. A little bit of platinum, but, you know, we don't really use platinum for, for a whole lot. Uh, so if we add this into here, we've got, yeah, 24 platinum. I got a decent amount of steel because I've been making, uh, you know, steel bloom, that sort of thing. Let's take uh, one of those and one of these. And we got some white meat here. We'll take one of those for our food. Oh, man. My nose is killing me. Okay, anyway, back to this. This is kind of a catch-up episode, guys. So that's why we're taking so long. Um, and, you know, we have eight points, but I really want to prioritize, you know, what we need next. Uh, we're going to do the biofuel stove, okay? there's We're just going to do it. Um, this is kind of... A nice thing to have but it's not essential I don't think at this point I already got the antibiotic pill learned so we, we and I need to actually make that um all right so <clears throat> we could do the biofuel deep mining drill but the thing is is as of right now I'm fine on the basic ores all the stuff that we would put this on I have plenty of now that's not gonna always be the case but it is at the moment so that means this is not a super high priority right now. We already learned all the cured leather armor, so we got the best armor on that we um, can have at the moment. However, well, actually, that's not true because we can now start learning the um, the uh, the composite armor or whatever it is in tier four. Uh, we might do beer and that sort of thing later on. Uh, repair bench, we'll get that eventually. That's for when you bring stuff down from the workshop and at the space station, uh, berry jam and bread dough and beer, like I said, all that stuff would be good to have, but I don't think we need it right at the moment. You know, eventually we're going to have points to spare. We really will. It's just that we're right now, we're still in that mode where we need to prioritize. Okay. So that means I think everything else we're going to do is going to be in tier four. Um, I'm going to, uh, Oh, I did decide to skip the hatchet or I'm sorry, not the hatchet, the machete. Because even though you can skin and uh, reap plants, it's the, the, it sucks. <laughs> this has way better skinning, um, way better damage, and this has way better reaping. 
than this does. Okay, so I so that's why I had to, unfortunately you have to take a point in the combat knife in order to get to the titanium knife, but we now have the best knife in the game. Um, I want to get the compound bow. So that is uh, we're gonna learn that right now. We're gonna do the biofuel generator because we need to start getting going on electricity. We need to do the material processor. What, what do we got? Four points left and probably the electric furnace. But do I want to do that? There's something else I wanted to get um, first. Yeah, we could, we should probably think about the composite armor at pretty soon here. But I think we actually are going to need this. So let's learn that. I'd like to do, I was planning on making some titanium arrows, but with titanium being so tight at the moment, um, I think I'm going to hold off on that and just keep using steel arrows. I mean, I'm I'm just kicking the crap out of everything anyways right now. You know, so... Yeah, we'll wait on that. Vapor condenser. Now, we can take this thing and we can go put it on the geyser that's over on the island in the, in the middle of... of uh, uh, what, what, what the, what's this place called? Ring Lake. <laughs> um, and, and put that on there, and I think we can get exotics from it so that's something we definitely need to do whether or not we need to do it right this moment I'm not entirely sure but yeah we need to do it pretty soon advanced armor attachment pack oh these are like modules right oh, wait advanced tool attachment pack huh that's new I don't even know what that is we'll have to investigate that uh, but again I'm thinking we we want to do the water pump too of course get all that going in the chemistry bench Oh, refrigerator, that's what it was. Yeah, I knew there was something else I wanted to, to prioritize. Uh, so definitely want the refrigerator because I'm tired of my food spoiling. Okay, that leaves us two points. We're going to unlock, I think, the electric textiles bench. So, And we're going to unlock the first composite chest armor um, so that we can upgrade to this armor when the time comes. Okay, and that spends all our points. Sorry, guys, if that took a little, little bit too long. But, uh, you know, I just wanted... To, to think th through that and I wanted to do it with you guys so let's go ahead and sleep all right fantastic so it is now morning we will turn that off and let's see what do we want to do first uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the base uh, and before we even work on the bait well let me see here should we work on the base first and then do the animal pen or should we do the animal pen first <laughs> I think we're going to do the animal pin first. So, here's what I'm thinking for that. Um, can I attach... Let's look at something here. Probably can't attach a wall. Oh, see, this is why there's such a pain in the butt. Get out of here, buddy! All right, can I attach a wall? Oh, I can't, okay. That's what we wanna do then. Um, there's no way to put that out at an angle, is there? <laughs> okay. Um, it's just that we're gonna have if I if I come out at a right angle, well, here, you know what we could do? And the reason I'm not using wood to do this is because I don't have it learned. And besides, wood's going to get destroyed in storms anyway, so... Uh, I don't really want to use these big walls for this either. So, let's pick these up. We don't even necessarily need to have these down all the time, only when we're taming a new creature. But they're kind of cool. So what, what we'll do here is we'll do this. And then we'll do... Uh, yeah. What? There we go. And we'll do that. I just want to keep them away from those spikes is the thing. Alright, is it going to let me go out again? Oh, you know what? I think it's... um. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's good. Perfect, except for I don't, I have them bass backwards. Um, let's turn this around. There we go. 
And for that matter, let's turn this one around too so it looks... I like that. Oh, what did I just do? I just put another wall somewhere. I don't know where I just put it. Uh, what in the world? Did it come out here somewhere? Well, I don't know. Maybe it went under the ground or something. Okay, well, we lost. It. Looks like we lost a wall. That's a bummer. That's a bummer, man. Uh, these spikes are really effective. I, I'm very impressed with, you know, the spikes and the walls. Um, they'll kill a jaguar, but unfortunately, like, you know, they'll also kill our own critters. Okay, let's try this again. Um, we want you to go there uh, and turn this way. There we go. Okay. Now, let's take and move the troughs over. And um, I'm going to put the water trough in the corner. The water trough pretty much stays full all the time just because of the rain. And almost never. In fact, I don't think I've had to fill it once. Let's move it out a little way so they have some room to get to it. food trough right next to it. Make sure we're straight here. Alright, and then we'll refill this. Good. Now, <clears throat> we, we actually probably do have room to put these down. Um, why don't we put one there, and get away from there, man. This was such a pain in the butt. Okay, can we bring this out one more? No, we can't. Okay. It's going to stick out that way. Okay, so yeah, this is going to have to turn at a right angle this way. Oh, darn it. Alright, I can't tell what side you're on, I think. Is that the side we want? Here, let's try it from... Well, I have to be standing this way, though, to get it to flip over. Uh, I just had it there for a second. Oh, building woes. These games, man. Okay, oh, we just had it there for a second. The, uh, right there, okay. And no, I could have sworn, I could have sworn the boards were on the other side. There, finally. Good gravy, that was a pain in the butt. Okay. Now, um, let's bring this out to here. And again, I think, yeah, that's the wood side. If we went here, yeah, see, they're right. It's getting right into the spikes there, so we can't do that. That probably wouldn't hurt them, but I don't want to take any chances. Okay, good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it and come this way. And go there and go here. But this is going to need to be... I'm going to need to do like some kind of a gateway thingy in there. All right, let's put this other bed back down. Might as well. Um, yeah, we'll put it right here. We need to get them some food. Let's go out to the garden and see if uh, 
We should have some crops ready out here. I can I can keep the critters sustained with the crops I have and you know make my own food barely. Um, you know, it's not we we certainly don't have an abundance. Okay, let's water that. But we have enough. Um, but that but I'm still gonna expand this and improve it anyway. Um, when that time comes, but we're not gonna do that in this episode. Oh, okay, we gotta put that back in. We have to put those back in. These were watermelons, and these were pumpkins. Okay. And this needs to be watered, and the carrots are back in there. Surprisingly enough, I, I grow more squash than anything else. The, the one plant that's not native to the region. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, water that. Get these carrots. The carrots, um, they don't have much yield to them. I even, I think, I even think I put some fertilizer in those two, and it's still, it still didn't get very much. We're gonna need some more water here. Okay, so we've harvested the garden. Now we have some food for our critters and for ourselves. Uh, before we feed them, let's go into the house here. And um, this roast of veggies is really good, man. 225 maximum stamina, 10 exposure resi resistance, and 10 melee damage. I think I already showed that to you, actually, didn't I? Okay, well, I'm old. I forget stuff. So let's um, craft up five of those. And... Sweet corn soup, eh, it's all right. I mean, it's good, but it's not, we can do better. And I want to go make another batch of, excuse me, Liberty Mutual? What the hell's going on? I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, back up. He really likes to go in the house. Um, here. Let's let's actually get them fed. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. All right, so we got those veggies there. Um, so we don't need squash. For well, we don't need any of the rest of these vegetables this time around, uh, except for the soybeans. We want the soybeans because I'm going to go fishing. So we're just going to put all of that stuff in there for them to eat. Okay, guys, you got food. Chow down. You know, I only have two critters, and I gotta, if you had a, you know, a bunch of critters, you'd have to have a pretty good farm, pretty good sized farm to support them. Um, okay, before we go fishing, we need to. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for a gate here. Is there any other kind of gate besides this big behemoth thing? I suppose we could put a put that in here. Um, well, you know what though, they can fit through a doorway. Well, at least the emu can. <coughs> I think Buddy can too, actually. We can just put a normal doorway there. Oh yeah, he can fit through there. Okay, yeah, that that's what we'll do. I didn't really want to put the big ginormous gate there because it's just too big. So what we'll do then is we'll um, grab this and we want to make it a doorway. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> um, that's not going to work. Well, maybe we are going to have to put a big gate there. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head there being any gates. 
uh, aside from the, you know, the big palisade gate. Okay, yeah, um, I think we're gonna have to just put a big gate there. So, if that's the case, let's pick that back up. Excuse me, Liberty Mutual. And then, I know this is gonna look kind of weird, but I don't know what else to do, so we'll just make another big ginormous gate. Just gotta keep those guys in their pin uh, because they don't behave. If you guys would behave, we wouldn't have to worry about this. All right. Um, oh, that's just gonna be freestanding, huh? Okay. It's not gonna snap to any of that stuff. I think. Yeah, I think we do want to put it this way. I just want to make sure that it's straight. Yeah, I guess that looks okay. I mean, in terms of it being straight, <laughs> it's, it's pretty jank otherwise. Okay. You guys now have a pin and this is where you live from now on. Stay there, buddy. You get out of my house. And quit trying to sell me insurance. Liberty Mutual. Uh, now Buddy's out. <laughs> Here, close that gate. Here, go, go get some food. <laughs> I caught you guys. All right, good. It's for your own good and my own good. Okay, great. I'm glad we finally got that accomplished. So that'll keep them safe from getting into the spikes and keep them out of my business and my house and trying to escape when I open this gate. Whew, okay, mission accomplished there. <coughs> All right. Now, next thing is... Uh, we're going to start expanding upwards. So that means something's going to have to be rearranged because we're going to need a stairwell to get up there. And I think... Uh, how do we want to do this? Just have to figure out what to move. I think we could probably move this. Just looking, you know, at what's over here. I got an idea. Why don't we pick this up? And I'm going to set it back down. Just temporarily set it right here so it's down somewhere and we have a spawn point. Now, let's see this is loaded with stone um well here let's just do this we'll pick it up and all that stuff will fall on the ground we'll replace it right here oh i found something out and i reported this as a bug Whenever you have an overflow bag like this on the ground, do not sort it. If you sort it, everything goes poof. Found that out the hard way. And I did report it, like I said, to uh, Morocco Works. No, those aren't going there. Those go in there. Yeah, so don't, don't ever sort these overflow bags. Um, at least until, you know, they get that fixed. Okay, so that opens up a spot there. Now, let's, um, of course, of course the storm shows up right when I'm ready to start building. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's grab these ramps. And actually, I only need one right at the moment. 
just gonna go back in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make these. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on a sec. I actually like to do wood stairs here, but I don't have any points left. Uh, if we go back to tier two. Carpentry, interior, wood floor. Oh, do we not have interior? Oh, yeah, wood ramp and stairs. Okay. Yeah, I want to unlock some of this stuff too because it looks really nice. But again, not high priority right now. So for now, we're just going to use a, a stone stair stairs to get up there. And we can still come in here and, you know, get to all of this stuff. Um,. I think what I might want to do though is let's move the mortar over just a little bit. In fact, we could even maybe put the mortar right on top of here. Why don't we do that? Alright. Put that stuff back in there. Good. Okay, so we can still get at everything here. In fact, we could even put the masonry bench back there, but nah, it's fine where it is. Let's just let's just leave it where it is. Okay, so that's how we will get up to the next floor. All right, well, I guess, guys, I'm going to cut the camera away for this doggone storm to finish, and then when it's done, I'll bring you back, and we'll start putting together the upstairs. Um, We're back, but I have some bad news, and that is that... I thought I had started the recording after the first storm was over, and apparently I didn't. Either that or I started it and I turned it back off or something. So, yeah, <laughs> I built out a whole bunch more of the house and talking to you guys the whole time and didn't have the doggone recorder on. So I apologize for that. Sometimes I do that, old guy and all that sort of thing. So let me just kind of recap what we did. Um, we We built the upper floor here. And um, I put these uh, these wood beams in for support. And I, I mentioned to you guys uh, in the video that... Oh, man, my nasal. Uh, in the video that um, if these are embedded in the stone, they, they won't take uh, weather damage. So you don't have to worry about repairing them as long as they're in the stone. Uh, we put a little balcony out here with some half... Um, uh, half floors about ready to steeze <laughs> and then I started replacing uh, the stone ceiling with this nice looking wood ceiling and uh, also the floor too uh, so let's see and then we made the porch out here and we wrapped this all the way oh man you're burning my forest down and also killing my frame rate too uh, so yeah we did made a little wrap around porch here and I'm going to um, this this corner piece and the corner piece on this end, I'm going to change these to hatches uh, so that we can then put ladders to go down to the water. I don't want to do a ramp down to the water because then a critter could potentially, you know, come up the ramp and get up on our deck. I don't know if they actually can or not, but conceivably they can. And so, oh man, my forest is burning down. I hate that about this game. I wish you could turn that off. What is that over there? Oh, it's a buffalo. Oh, uh, anyway. Okay, well, what can you do, right? And uh, so, yeah, I think that's 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 what I did. <laughs> and I'm irritated with myself that I didn't have the recorder ready because we, you know, I was talking about what I was doing the whole time. But basically, for those of you who may not know. Whenever you build a structure, you know, this high, you've got to put these beams in. They could either be, you know, the stone beams, or I like to use the wood beams because they look nicer. And, uh, oh, man, it's burning my forest down. Screwing up my view. Fortunately, I think we're far enough away from the waterfall to where that wouldn't, theoretically, it shouldn't burn anyways, but, uh, Whatever. That's a big forest fire too. It can, it can destroy like an entire forest. I've seen it happen. Oh, look at the jaguar on fire over there. 
<laughs> ah, Jaguar. Man, my frames are terrible right now. Oh. I just crashed. <laughs> I was going to say, something bad just happened. Yeah, yeah, Chris. Oh, I love this game so much, but man, they have got to fix it. It's just terrible, you know, performance-wise and stability-wise. Uh, anyway, all right, guys. Well, I'm not even going to start the game back up to end the episode. I'm just going to end the episode here. I need to go to bed. I feel terrible. And so, yeah, we will. Um, so I'm going to work. Um, I think what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to take an expedition to the desert and look for more caves so I can get more titanium. I, I think I had enough materials to make the material processor. Well, we got to make the generator first. Yeah, I better do that on camera. So I think the next episode we'll make the generator. We'll make the material processor. We'll make the electric furnace and in between, uh, now and then I'm going to, uh, um, well, I wanted to take you with me on the expedition too. Yeah, we'll do that too. <laughs> Anyway, I got to go to bed. All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.